So hello, uh, today I'm going to show you what I have for my green smoothies. Now look at this, dandelions. Yes, I throw dandelions and you know you can eat any part of the dandelion, the floweret, the uh, leaves, and the, even the stem or the root. It's kind of bitter, but it's actually good for you. It's really good. You know why they're called dandelions? It comes from the French word dent de lion. So dent, we think of dentist, and de of lion, the lion. A lion's tooth, in other words. <laughs> so we're going to start with these dandelions. And if you do have dandelions in your green smoothie, you're going to want something sweet to counteract that bitterness. But dandelions are good because they help your digestion, they help cleanse your liver, and they help reduce inflammation in your body. So I've been enjoying them now the last few days, and of course they're just prevalent. You want to make sure they're not sprayed with something, right? So there's no spray on them, but you can put those as one of the components of your green smoothie. It's good to have a variety of greens as well, just because each has its own contribution to make. But generally, dark leafy greens are one of the healthiest things, most nutritious, dense plants that we can put into our bodies. And that's why I like to grow spinach, I grow kale, I can take the leaves off my kohlrabis and other things and put those into my green smoothie. So I'm just going to pick some of these uh, large winter spinach that had made it through the winter and now they're flourishing here in the early spring here in Alabama. And I just reach in and pull them off like so. You can see it's just beautiful. It's really healthy looking spinach. So I'm picking the largest leaves and it will just keep going. Now this type of lettuce probably once the heat hits here in Alabama, we've had a rather cool spring this year, but once the heat hits it'll probably be the end of it. But then I can replant it again this fall. Now here's uh, just a variety. I think there's like 14 different types of lettuces and especially the baby uh, lettuces or baby greens are just really dense with nutrients. So it's good to pick. Some of these are bitter, some of them are sweeter, but just get a variety to throw in. They all add magnesium, potassium, phytonutrients, different enzymes, especially when they're living. Like I said, it's better to eat living things. And that's why I like to just pick them fresh and just throw them right into the smoothie because I know they have their full vitality and I need vitality. You know? Now we're going to go over to the broccolini and I'm going to throw in some of that too. So this broccolini, it's, it's got uh, similar nutrient values as with uh, broccoli and the stems remind you of asparagus. It's also called aspabrock. So, the leaves are good too. Sometimes I'll just come out here and get some leaves if I've already cut off the broccolini. So those are all good. Well, now we'll go over and get an asparagus stalk. So you can see I had uh, asparagus in my green smoothie the other day and so this one got clipped off. Look at the size of this. Huh? Have you had asparagus that big? So I'm just going to cut it off at the base. And so it'll fit in here. I'll just cut it in half and let's go blend this up with some fruit and we'll have our green smoothie. So again, we are not angels. We're not disembodied spirits. We are human beings who have a body and a soul. And the fifth commandment says that we should take ordinary care of our health. And one of the ways that we can improve our health or at least assist our health is by giving our body dense nutrition, the nutrition it needs to keep itself healthy and to be active. And so one of the most dense, nutritious things that we can put into our body are dark greens that we just picked out at the garden. So we've got the dandelions here, I've rinsed them, as well as the, the spinach and then some of the broccolini and here's the asparagus as well. And they're just loaded, they're just nutrient dense and we're gonna blend them up and that's another element of green smoothies is that when you make it into a smoothie your body just easily can absorb all the nutrition it's all broken down 
and your body can just easily absorb it. It doesn't have to go through a lot of work and process to do that. So putting nutrient-dense foods, and I'm gonna mix some fruit here to make it a little bit sweet as well. So I've got bananas, have some pears, which go great with green a little bit, and then an orange. And I always like to begin with some ice. I like it cold. So I begin with some ice. And then I like to, because the, the blades on the bottom here, I'm gonna throw all these greens in next. And the ice will help push those greens down to the blade. So I just put those in here. See those dandelion? <laughs> when people see you doing this, they'll say, what the heck are you doing with those dandelions in there? Then I'm gonna throw in next the uh, pears, which add a really nice sweetness. The banana makes it creamy. Getting kind of full here. Hopefully it's gonna <laughs> come down uh, to the blade. And we just got enough here. So now we're gonna add some water. And you can add as much or little as you'd like to give it the consistency you want. If you want it more of a thick drink, add less water. If you want it, you know, more of a, a juice type, then you'll add more water. So we're gonna screw this blade on here. We're gonna let this do its magic here. So we'll see if. So it's just finished. One of the things I didn't put in this time, but you can, is some protein powder. Father Mark's brother gave us this peanut uh, butter powder, organic for adding some protein. I also will, uh, we have a wonderful co-worker here at EWTN who has his own chickens and he gives us these range-free eggs. So I have a couple hard-boiled eggs that'll add some protein to this as well. So we're gonna give this a shot here. See how this green smoothie, but you see how it just looks healthy. <laughs> All of this rich nutrition and the foaming, which is a sign of, you know, the life and vitality that's there. And we're just gonna serve it up and see what people think of it. But it's a great way to just easily, it's a quick way and a very pleasant way to get the vegetables that so many of us are lacking in our diet today. So we're going to see what, uh, hey, Father Leonard, what do you think of this green smoothie? Okay. And be honest. <laughs> see. <sighs> you know, it's refreshing and revitalizing. It kind of uh, tastes like I'm drinking a garden, <laughs> but, but it's a nice blend of uh, vegetables and fruit. And, yeah. What do you think you taste the most there? What's this? strongest uh, thing that you're tasting there? Mm. I don't know. It's kind of hard to pick it it's out. It's hard to it? pick it out. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's so so green, but. So we got dandelions yeah. in there. I can't really taste the, the but it dandelion. But it has a nice blend. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, it, mm -hmm. yeah. And like I said, it has a room of a garden. <laughs> and it's like something you can just get all this. You mm. saw that pile of green vegetables that I had. Mm -hmm. And look at this in a glass. You can yeah. drink it in just a couple of minutes. Yeah. Gives you energy. Mm. Well, cheers. To your health. To your health. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this little um, a vlog on making green smoothies. Give it a try. Try different things. What do you like? Do you like it stronger tasting or do you like the sweeter tasting? There's a lot of things that you can do, just a variety of things that you can do. So give us your comments too on green smoothies. Do you drink green smoothies or make them? Are you interested in doing something like that? Like us and uh, subscribe to us, share us, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.